Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Seven Days to Die. I'm here at a gas station called Pass and Gas doing a clear area mission. I believe this is the last clear area mission that I need in order to start getting tier two quests. I may be wrong about that, I'm not 100% sure, um, but I feel like we're getting to that point. I think this should be the last one. Uh, ooh, there's an ATM here. I'm not gonna get anything from there. Actually, I do have lockpicks. Oh my god, that's gonna take a long time. And I have not upgraded the lockpick skill. Yeah. I mean, I think it's worth a shot. We could try it. Yeah, we, we could try to uh, degrade this. I mean, we're already down by like half. Um, but we haven't upgraded our lockpick skill at all. Um, so this is gonna be quite the experience. It seems to be working though. I think we're... I think we're highly skilled at lockpicking. Wow, there we go. We still have a lockpick to spare, too. Got some old cash that we can sell. That sounds very good, because we are out of money. There's a zombie in here. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say, because I got excited over the ATM. Uh, but yeah, we are almost to Tier 2 missions, and I want to go and uh, open a bunch of trade routes as well. Um, and that's, that's the plan for today. Um, we upgraded our house and all that. And uh, I, I think we might come back for the Blood Moon um, and do Tier 2 missions and all that. But opening new trade routes uh, gives us a chance to actually explore the map, uh, which is going to be really good. I need to step back for a moment because I'm going to run out of stamina. Here, I'm just going to sit over here and uh, just sit back. I would use my gun, but I kind of want to save all the ammo that I have for the Blood Moon, uh, which is coming in a few days. Uh, it's actually day four. I forgot about that. The trader should be uh restocking today and there's a dead guy over here okay we're just gonna harvest him i like the little fart sound that it makes um i also found ooh honey okay that i was that's a good point i was actually just getting to there i uh, got some antibiotics from uh the last trader mission that i did i did it off camera it was another buried supplies um i, I uh, got antibiotics from that and i cured my infection from last video uh, so that's good I, I have a couple more antibiotics to spare as well because he gave me three i only needed one um, so we have it uh, whenever we need it and we have honey now too, which is actually uh, Out of all the things that can cure infections uh, Honey is the worst one, but if you have it in your inventory, then uh, Definitely do it the uh, the early early on the honey gives you a negative 10 wait no I'm wrong. What, what am I even talking about again? <laughs> I keep forgetting. Honey uh, cures 5% of your infection. Herbal antibiotics cures 10% and the normal antibiotic pills cure uh, 25%. So the antibiotic pills are the best ones. And uh-oh, we don't look... It's not looking like we're going to have luck with this safe. Oh my god, we're going to be digging at this for a little bit. Should we do it? Is it going to be worth it? I don't know. I'm, I'm already doing it. I will have to repair my axe. Do I have any stones on me? Uh... No. Okay, maybe we'll come back to this. Ah, uh, here we go. This is the stuff that I'm looking for. This will give me all the loot. I still need one more cooking book to level up my skill. Oh my god, we got a level 5 pipe shotgun. That is awesome. We got Shotgun Messiah Volume 2. Craft special ammunition used to breach secure blocks like doors and safes. Uh, that'll actually be really good. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have any shotgun ammo on us, but I did see some in our chest at home before we left. So we do have some, uh, the pipe shotgun is actually a good shotgun, uh, but it takes forever to reload, so that's the only thing wrong with that. Uh, there are better shotguns too, uh, but in terms of shotguns, the pipe shotgun is the worst shotgun, but we got, uh, we got lucky that it's a level 5 one, um, so we need to go clear this last area over here. Um, oh, it's outside too, so maybe we can get some stones from out here or something. Uh, where's the zombies? Oh, it's a dog. Of course it is. Get out of here. No, get out of here. I don't want you to bite me. There we go. Jeez. Okay. Um, oh, here's a sports bag over here. I need stones. I mean, I can find them out anywhere. I can just go pick, like, one or two stones up and, you know, I'll be fine to get that safe. Um, but that's the only thing that's probably going to be worth it. Oh, there we go. We just got a bunch of stones right there. Um, I'm going to loot these barrels. Because uh, they've got gas in them, and gas, we can't really use gas right now for anything, but for the future, uh, that'll be worth it. And we just unlocked uh, Stone Spear Quality too. I think that's it for the passing gas station. Though. Oh wait, we need to loot the trash can. Uh, and there's not really anything good in there. But we can use a cloth. I think the cloth might be good for us. But the feathers are really like for like bows and arrows and all that. And I don't really use bows and arrows. Uh, also, we leveled up at one point. How many points do we have? We have two. We need one more to get our strength attribute to the max. 
And then after that, we're going to start working on Pummel P. And this is going to be really good because um, the more Pummel P we have, we need to get the club's magazines and we can boost the loot odds with Pummel P. And, uh, you know, with, we can only have, we can craft level one wooden clubs, but once we get to like, how many, 75 uh, skill books, once we get that many, we can craft like level five steel clubs. And that'll be really good. And that's what I want to get. So... I need to get Pummel Pete very soon uh, for multiple reasons. That's just one of them. I'd like to get it to reduce stamina usage and do more damage with clubs and all that. Um, I don't know, though. But I will see you guys back at the trader when he opens. Actually, he's already open. Um, but this safe is going to take a long time to uh, <laughs> to just uh, to destroy. And um, it's, it's, it's going to take a while. Actually, I'm not going to go over to the trader and all that. I think I might just uh, open up this safe and uh show you guys once inside it and then i'll make my way back to the trader how about that does sound good does that sound good and this item needs repairs okay i've actually never heard that sound effect anymore come on we're so close just a little bit more come on we're in double digits now a few more hits should do it and there we go we got the safe open finally and it was so not worth it we have a level two pipe shotgun we're gonna scrap that iron arrows and old cash that was not worth the time wasted. I spent like maybe an hour and a half in game just trying to destroy that. That was so not worth it. Okay, uh, well, if you don't have lockpicks, I mean, you can find good stuff in, in saves like that, but that one was not worth it at all. Uh, so we're going to run back to the trader over here, and hopefully he can give us uh, tier 2 missions now, because that's going to give us a lot more XP and a lot better rewards uh, so I'm, I'm excited for it, um, and I, th I don't know if tier 2 will unlock more in different quests for us. I know that they're harder and they'll give better loot, but I'm not sure if we'll unlock different kinds of quests, because there's, there's different kinds of quests you can unlock later in the game, but I'm not sure if that's going to be on tier 2. Maybe tier 3, but not sure about tier 2. I guess we'll have to find out. Alright, what can we get? We can get a bunch of coal, a bunch of ammo for the pistol, a wood splitter mod, which I don't think we have. This one increases damage to wood. Uh, we already learned the tempered blade schematic. You can see by the open book right here. We can get Molotov cocktails. That will actually be really useful. Um, I'm going to try not to use my guns a lot. So I don't know if I want to get the ammo, the coal. We can just use wood. I think the coal is... Uh, I don't think we're going to get that. Because we can just use wood as well. I'm really thinking about getting the Molotov cocktail ammos. Um... Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to get that. I mean, Wood Splitter mod is good as well. But I think the cocktails are going to be so much more worth it. Especially during the Blood Moon. So I think we're going to get that. And yes, there we go. We can get ourselves a bicycle now. These bundles as well are really good. Like um, the Traps bundle, I think, is probably the best one out of all this. Um, and it'll give us a bunch of like Traps and all that. And uh, books and all that and what we whatever we need. But the bicycle is a vehicle that we can use. And we can use that to get around... So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a bicycle, and here we go. Special jobs, tier 2, opening trade routes 1.7 kilometers south. That's a long way. We're expanding trade routes to the south. Tell the folks at Trader Wrecked that our dukes are shiny, and they will have a reward and more work for you. Nice. Okay, we can also get another job from this guy. He still has tier 1 missions. I don't think we're going to do that. May I see your inventory? He did restock today. And he did not restock the magazines, which is a shame because he's got some good magazines. I guess we can get Handyland because uh, repair tools are going to be really good. And I guess we get Needle and Thread too, just to learn it. Um, but Get Hammered is the Sledgehammer crafting skill. And I think I'd rather save my money for something else because I'm not going to use Sledgehammers here. Wow, he's just got all the Sledgehammers. <laughs> Jeez. Um, does he have... He doesn't have any cookbooks, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, well, I think, I think we're good for you, uh, I think we got everything from you, Trader Bob, for a little bit. We can sit here and do some more Tier 1 missions from him, and upgrade to Tier 2 and all that, and Tier 3, 4, 5, and whatever, how many, how many ever, uh, many the tiers there are, but, um, yeah, we're gonna go and open up this next trade route, so before we start, uh, making our way over there, first we need to eat, and second, we need to put everything in our chest over here, and uh, collect everything we want to collect. So I think we're going to move over there for a little bit. I probably should not have built this whole house. I knew I was going to move and uh, built this whole house anyway. It's fine. It's here if we ever need it. 
So let's see. Uh, let's just uh, place everything in these chests and we can just pick out the things that, that we want. I need to go sell my cash. Let me go sell my cash real quick and then we'll do this. Okay, so we're definitely going to want the honey. We're going to want the Molotov cocktails. We're going to want the grill and all our ammo down here. Everything in our inventory right here, even the meat stew and the cornbread, we're going to want to take that. Um, I put my cooking pot in here, uh, but we I just put the cooking pots back in the campfire because we're going to make some water. Uh, I will take the antibiotics. I guess I can take the first aid kit as well, uh, just because it's a little better. I want to take all of my parts, uh, maybe not the flashlight. Uh, let's see, glue, iron, duct tape, um, let's see, I want the shotgun ammo, we're gonna put that down here. Um, is there anything else in here that I want to take? I can really get all these things everywhere else, I'm not gonna use the iron arrows or anything. Old sham sandwich, those are pretty common, we can actually use these to make antibiotics. Cobblestone rocks, uh, cloth fragment, I guess we'll take that. Uh, short iron pipes, steel, uh, spear parts, uh, battery... Uh, I think everything in here is okay, because we can get all this stuff later. Um, and what about this chest? We're going to take all the parts. We, we'll take the bicycle handlebars, so we can craft another bicycle if we need to. Uh, all this stuff that we've already gotten is, like, really common. I'm not going to take all these weapons and all that. Uh, lamb rations, yeah, no. We can get all these stuff from cars as well. They're really, really common, really easy to gather once we get the tools and... We'll get the tools very easily, so, um, yeah, I could fill up our inventory over here, though, and, uh, oil shells, we can take that, we can take the wheels, and, uh, the leather, let's just take, like, crafting materials, I'll take feathers, lead, um, chrysanthemums, or what is it, Christ, yeah, chrysanthemum, I call it chrysanthemum, uh, chrysanthemums are pretty common, um, let's see, we can take the rotting flesh and create meat stew eventually, uh, I guess we'll take all this stuff, because we can smelt that later on. Um, ear of corn, sure, and the eggs, we'll take that too. I don't think I'm going to take the, all the seeds, because we really don't need to. What does the pine seed do? Um, it grows a tree. Uh, may grow in the desert, but do prefer more fertile ground. Maybe we'll take the seeds. I'm not sure. I haven't really done any farming in this game ever. You really don't need to. Maybe we'll take the seeds just to experience farming. But I don't know if the zombies are going to go it, go after it. We'll take the nails over here too. Uh, maybe the steroids as well. Everything else is like really common. We'll take these two as well and the gas. I think that's good for now though. Uh, this water should be done. We're going to turn this off. Take our wood and our cooking pot. Oh wait, no. There's still one more thing in here. You know, it's fine. Uh, we'll just keep the murky water. You know what? No, let's put, let's put the wood back in here. Let's make that water again. It's going to take another 50 seconds. And uh, let's just drink one of this water because we're still... I mean, our thirst is a little down anyway. It's fine. Uh, so this water will stack with this. And we can still take the cooking pots. And we can place our bicycle down. All right, so we got all of the things that we need pretty much. I don't even think we need all of this. Just the... Like maybe this first half right here we'll need. But everything else is like really easy to get. Uh, so we're just going to sit here and wait for this, and then we're going to go ahead and start going south. Where is he on the map? Um, he's all the way down here. Jeez. Okay, uh, maybe we'll go around this path or something, or maybe we'll want to go around the road. I think we'll go to this path. I don't think we're going to go on the road. Screw the road. <laughs> Nobody likes driving. You know what? We'll take our bedroll, too, and just uh, leave our building blocks here. Okay, yeah, everything else we can craft, so we're going to go ahead and close the door right here. Uh, this house is uh, probably, it, I think it's served its purpose, but uh, if we ever need to come back here, then we at least we have a shelter here. And I think that's what I'm going to do at this other trader too. Uh, just build a house. Is there a bunch of zombies coming to spawn after me? We might have to kill these first. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. Look at us right here. Look at us. We look so cool. We look like a... Uh, like an assassin a little bit jeez okay uh yeah we have like scrap chest armor leg armor we got like uh, a hood and everything let's uh, load our shotgun in here i think this takes like one bullet we're not going to use it anyway let's just uh take care of these zombies maybe we'll level up before we go i'd like to get my strength to level 10 there we go die i don't think we're gonna get get our strength to level 10 uh we're just gonna use a pistol for you there we go. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't level up. All right, uh, let's take the bike. This is going to be one heck of a drive, one heck of a bicycle ride. Um, but maybe we'll get tier two missions down here. I'm not sure. Usually we have to start over at tier one. 
if we do, I think we might stay at Trader Wrecked for a little bit. Uh, just to see what he has to offer and all that. But I will be back with you as soon as we get to Trader Wrecked. 1.6 kilometers to go. This is going to be a long journey. Oh, what's that I hear? It's an airdrop? How far is this airdrop? Okay, we're going to take a little slight detour from the trade route and uh, just go collect this airdrop real quick because it's actually already pretty far and we're already out and about, so we might as well. Um, it's not even showing up on our screen yet and it's still dropping down. It's okay. We just got to go this way. Uh, it's very far this way, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, this is going to take a little bit. So, sorry, Trader Rex. We're just going to delay our arrival for you. There's a house over here to our right. Interesting. It's like a little log cabin and all that. That's pretty cool. Alright, what's in the airdrop? Please be a cookie magazine! Ah, uh, no, but we actually did get a lot of things here. Okay, we got antibiotics, polymer string mod. Uh, I think that's for a bow. We might not take that. I mean, I've seen uh, stuff like that around. I've, I've gotten a lot of polymer string mods in other worlds and all that. Painkillers heal concussions. So, I think we'll probably get rid of the scrap polymers for that. Uh, or maybe the small stones, actually. Actually, you know what? Maybe both. Uh, because we have Crafting Skill Magazine. It's a three-book bundle. Okay, um, let's see. Fireman's Almanac. Uh, speed. Seconds count when fighting fires. Use this technique to increase attack speed with axes by 5%. Awesome. We have Spear Hunter, Volume 6. Power attacks now penetrate and damage multiple enemies. It said three, right? Where's the last one? Or did we, did we already get it? Oh, we did. Night Stalker, Volume 3. Blades, bone, iron, or steel. It doesn't matter if it cuts. Bladed weapons do 10% more damage at night. Sure, okay. Bladed weapons, I guess that's maybe the hunting knife, maybe. I don't even know. Crafting skill magazine. Let's just put all this in here, uh, just so it'll, like, give us the crafting skill magazine. So let's uh, open right now. There we go. Furious Fist, Knuckles, crafting skill. We can now create quality two. Knuckle wraps, elect electric electrical, and uh, robotics. Nothing that I want. And uh, we'll just take the rest of this here. Um, we're going to get rid of that. Take our cooking pots. And uh, we'll keep the stones in there. Uh, okay, well, uh, I put our bike back in our inventory. So there we go. So now we're going to go back to the trader. We took a little detour and it's becoming dark. It's raining. That's great. We are wet. And we're going to get cold too, probably. So let's go uh, Let's go to Trader Wrecked. We've uh, delayed this long enough. And uh, now I will be back with you. Once we get to Trader Wrecked, <laughs> he's just he's just over here. I think we're on the city outskirts. All right, here we are. Trader Wrecked is right here. So far, it looks a lot like Trader Bob. Uh, we're just gonna leave our bike right here. There's a cop car right there. That is uh, dangerous for us to do right now. You can lockpick it, or you can uh, you know just break it until the sirens go off and uh, spawn a bunch of zombies. Uh, I like to do that a lot personally, but we're not at that point yet. Here's Trader Wrecked right here, another base to loot. Here we go, let's go inside. Hello, how's it going? Uh, head to Trader, you're not gonna give me any reward, just XP? Great, uh, what are your jobs? Tier 1? Oh man, okay, well I guess we could just do fetch ones. I'm not gonna go back to Trader Bob. What is your inventory like? Do you have a cooking book? You do! Yes, okay, um, is there anything we could sell here? Because I do not have any room at all. Um, maybe I'll just sell something common, like, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to sell. Okay, hang on. Let me let me eat uh, this cornbread right here. I don't know how long this lasts for. How long does it last? 10 seconds? Yeah, let's eat two of these. And um, get ourselves a cooking book. So now we can finally craft uh, grilled meat. Here we go. Grilled meat and something else. What's the... What's the drink? Red tea? That is awesome. Red tea is really good uh, to use. What else can we get? We can get some more cooking books. Uh, we can get like uh, these almanacs and all that. These uh, actual perk books, which are actually a lot rarer than the crafting books. Um, so I might want to get that. We have... Oh, we don't even have enough for it. Maybe we should save for it. Uh, fireman gear, fireman helmets, and... Uh, and wait, craft fireman helmets and take 5% less damage when wearing them, okay? Add AP robotic turret ammo, tired of armored enemies soaking up by your ammo, shred through them like butter with his high-tech ammo recipe. So we can craft armor piercing ammo for robots, or we can craft fireman helmets and take 5% less damage. I feel like Tech Junkie Volume 3 is gonna be a lot better than Fireman's Almanac Volume 7, but I think for now we're just gonna spend all of our money on this. Do you have 
anything that I want. Salvage tool, blades, nah. You don't have the club stuff, so I'm just gonna use this. And uh, I gotta go build a house here before it gets nighttime. Um, but oh my god, there's a zombie in, your, in here. Get out of here, you're not allowed in here. Ah, the trader would kill me if he saw a zombie in here. Let's just uh, close that door right there. Uh, no zombies allowed. All right, well, I guess we can build our house right here or something, uh, which I'll have to do before it gets nighttime. But guys, that was another video of 7 Days to Die. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, then go ahead and leave a like on the video. You, uh, and you can also subscribe to this channel to see more content just like this. It's absolutely free, and you won't miss a thing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.